World Series champion Red Sox two and a half games ahead of the Yankees Boston hosts to Detroit who's lost 11 in a row at Fenway Boston has won 14 in a row at home bottom third Sox up one bartender Jack David Ortiz with the two run shot off Sean Douglas big poppy's 32nd poppy he'd also whiff three times Sox would get a six pack in the inning but this game was not on ice top four Bronson Arroyo gave up seven runs in five and a third including four to Dimitri Young on that grand slam 20th homer for Young game went from 6 4 to tied at seven in the sixth Mississippi State's Jonathan Palabon replaced Arroyo gets tagged by the first batter he faces Omar and Fonte with the green wall RBI double the Tigers take the lead in the game 12 8 Sox third loss in four games Yanks Royals we got a little excitement for you in this one stripes one and three against the Royals this season let's go right to the ninth uh, home half Royals up seven three one on one out Jorge Posada there's your double play ball except Jeremy Appel bad throw on help a row can't handle it and the double play could end the game instead hello window open next batter newly acquired Matt Lawton he's not a buck he's not a cub he's a Yankee that means he just became clutch his first Yankee hit timely still only one out next batter pinch hitter Tino Martinez and Martinez. All right, that'll get through as well. Jason Giambi scores. Yanks down 7 4. That would be all for Appelt. Nothing is over, of course, till we say it over. Sean Camp in for the Royals. Bases Chuck. Derek Jeter. Yeah, bases loaded. Tight situation. Jared, Derek Jeter. Yeah, this isn't where he makes out. This is where he gets base hits. Posada scores. Lawton will score. And now the Yanks within one at 7 to 6 after a Matsui fly ball advances the runner. We got two outs. Gary Sheffield he swings a mean bat whistles that one the other way that's good for two bags Tony Womack coming home we're tied at seven next guy up Alex Rodriguez first base is open Giambi on deck now we'll let a rod swing we'll let it go through the left side and here comes Jeter with the winning run an improbable comeback yanks eight seven five runs in the bottom of the ninth first time since 1985 the Yanks have won after trailing by four headed into the ninth inning 33rd come from behind win in 05 for the Yanks 16 coming in the final at bat eight right now 103 RBI League Florida yes yeah, the Marlins Dontrell Willis ERA less than one and three career Wrigley starts bottom third Derek Lee goes down swinging second straight 0 for four game after having a nine game hit streak Jeremy Bernitz though did not miss that's down because cheese fries make you strong. No moral score. <laughs> Burnett's going to advance to third and a wild throw. Home. So we are tied at one. Howard Willis locks down after that. Corey Patterson, your bat is now two picks. Willis, seven and a third. Six hits, one and run, six Ks. Greg Maddox in the fifth trouble. There you see. Sacks full of Marlins, and he plunks Willis. Juan Encarnacion walks home. Marlins lead 2 1. First time one pitcher has hit the other pitcher to force home a deciding run in 34 years. Todd Jones going to close it out. Patterson over to first. Willis now. 18 wins. That ties the franchise record. Ties with Chris Carver for the Major League League. 2 1's your final. Nationals hosting the Cardinals. Jason Marquis, who lost seven straight. St. Louis just one win in his last 13 starts. Marquis took Mark Mulder's spot in the rotation. He had a sore neck. Jose Vidro with a sore eagle. Mulder expected back Sunday. Nick Johnson would rather face him on Saturday. Cardinals were up a four spot in the seventh. With David Eckstein. Now goes from bunt to blast. Two run shots for Marquis would single the lead off the inning. I do it all the time in BP. X said you're not trying to hit it out. You're just trying to hit it in the air. Meanwhile, the Nationals are trying to hit it anywhere against Marquis. Jose Guillen shot handled by Abraham Nunez. Marquis gave up two singles, didn't walk a batter, struck out three, including Preston Wilson. Second career complete game. First ever shutout. He needed just 91 pitches in the 6 nothing win against the Nationals. Who began the day last in the big leagues in batting average, slugging percentage, and runs. You can see why. Mets, Giants, New Yorkers 5-0 and on their Western road swing. That, of course, makes Willie Randolph really happy. Woohoo! We're winning! I love it! All right, in the seventh, Jose Reyes faces juice. Mets down 2-1, 2 out. Two, this is a clutch spot right here. We're gonna have see if we can make the manager skip around some more. That'd be fun. No. Soft pop, Davy Cruz. Look at that. It did make it to the, uh, the infield dirt, which was nice. Jason Schmidt, seven innings pitch, three hits, four Ks, one earned run. Ninth inning, Armando Benitez on. Former Met trying to close it out. Mike Jacobs cooling off a bit. It's a tough out here. Todd Linden over, makes a nice catch. A little kiss for the wall, two outs. 
couple three batters later Chris Woodward into pinch hit two on two out and game over Benitez picks up his 250th career save he's 12 for 12 and save ops against the Mets Giants win a 2-1 as Jason Smith improves to 4-0 in August playoff spot in the American League A's Orioles Orioles starter Eric DeBose not last more than two winnings and three of his last four starts well he's into the third here and down just one nothing when Bobby Crosby gets out the big hammer get out Crosby's ninth of the year puts Oakland up three nothing next guy up Eric Chavez and as you know he liked eggs Chavez takes the bows for a ride as well. Solo homer back to back his 20 seconds. The A's are up four nothing. Get the hook. The bows last just two innings plus in your box score. Same frame. Mark Ellis facing James Baldwin in relief. Ellis pops it up. B.J. Surhoff. Little Brewer Brewer moment there gets away from. Him. Jay Payton will score in the air. Puts Oakland up five nothing. Bobby Kilty wants some. That's just your basic base hit. Dan Johnson will score. Ellis will score. Oakland commandingly 7 up to that point. Go on to win it by a final of 12 to 3. Tough being the manager of the O's. Kevin Millwood and the Indians were a whisker behind the Yankees and Athletics in that wild card race. Cleveland in Toronto. Bottom four tied. Two on. Russ Adams singles off Millwood. Eric Hinsky. Is he wearing his PF Flyers? Safe. Blue Jays lead 2 1. Millwood complete game, but would two be one too many? Top eight. Miguel Batista, 2-1. Johnny Peralta, good game to watch. Two on for Victor Martinez. He swings to end the game. And the inning, excuse me, Blue Jays go on to win it. 2-1. Twins Rangers, Minnesota as a team. Last four games hitting a whole buck 90. Top nine, trailing 2-1. Terry Tiffy, clutch hit. Jock Jones, round and third, headed for home. Brown out handsome man, and he is in easily, except for the part where the throw hit him in the mouth. That sort of hurt, but he'd be fine. He's a hockey player. Twins tie the game for two. In the 11th, Jones, yeah, showing no ill effects whatsoever. Offense just juices it. Twins, weak hitting wins, five in the 11th. They win at 7-2, now 13-7 and seven extra this year. All right, well, at the start of last Sunday, now the A's were the AL wildcard leader alone, half game up on the Yanks, game and a half lead over the Indians. Well, what does this Sunday bring? It brings Athletics still on top, but now in a tie with the pinstripes. The Indians a half game closer. The Twins now four and a half back. They lose a game over the week. To the great Northwest, Seattle hosting Chicago. Chicago knows what Cleveland did. Top two, Jermaine Dyke, four for 26, career against Joel Pinheiro. That's a two-run shot, his 23rd. Dye tied a career high with four hits, also had two stolen bags. Bottom eight, 4-2, Bobby Jenks. This pitch, 102 miles. <laughs> Richie Sexton can't touch that. But you take a mile out, you go 101, and Richie's going to put some stick on it. Jamal Strong scores. Here comes Ichiro, round and third, and he is out. White Sox hold on to win at 4-3. They've won five of six after losing seven straight. Devil Rays won the series opener against the Angels. This team has just been a menace since the All-Star break. Bottom third, two outs, of course, get you to heaven. Jorge Cantu comes up with one off of Paul Bird. Two-run shot. Cantu now has 90 RBIs. That is one more than Vlad the Impaler. A couple three batters later, two on Johnny Gomes. Cantu, Gomes, same two guys that just ripped up the halos on Friday. Do it again. Gomes off the wall. He's running really hard, going to make a couple of lefts and then come to third and try to give me the Pete Rose. Full on dive. Two run score. Devil Rays go on, win 6 3. Ray Fossey not hurt in this game. Card one and a half games behind Philadelphia. Astros in LA. Jose Cruz Jr. walked by Roy Oswalt with the bases loaded. Jeff Kent scores. Dodgers up a field goal. 4 0. Edwin Jackson, bases loaded. The opposing pitcher and Oswalt. Can't find the strike zone. Jason Worth scores. 11 batters came up for L.A. in the bottom of the first. Jackson, his second start of the season. You saw him at the dish. What's he doing? On the mound. Up 5-0. Chris Burke swinging sway. Jackson, 6 Ks and 5 and a third. Kent, 23rd home run of the year. 300th homer as a second baseman. Dodgers win 8-3. Clements opposing Jeff Weaver come Sunday. Phillies Diamondbacks, you know, the D-back mascot backs for the Bobcat, does not treat the Philly fans well. Oh, Judd gets it big. John Lieber 0-6 in his career against the Diamondbacks. Brandon Webb 0-6 in his last nine starts. Top two, two outs, bases loaded, but 
Labor grounds out to Craig Council, so Webb escapes with nothing hurt. Bases loading the six. Tony Clark flies out. There's Pat Burrell, and so Labor gets out. Nothing hurt. Extricates himself from trouble as well. Top seven bases loaded. Kenny Lofton counts. Uh, second time fills up the bases loaded. They get zilch. Somebody. Give me a score. Thank you. Alex Citron, pitch hitter, two run homer. Bobby Abreu is right there. His mama didn't make him tall enough. Third career pinch hit home run for Citron. D backs win a 2 0 Lieber now. 0 oh, 7 in his career against the Diamondbacks. Not so good. All right, let's do that same sort of week long look at what's going on in the wild card standings nationally. Last Sunday, Mets were fifth in the wild card after the Nationals and the Marlins. Phillies there on top. And now as we look to it, this Sunday coming, Philly still up by that half a game over the Marlins, but the Mets have leapfrogged, clear into a tie, the third game and a half back. It's going to be exciting the last 30, 40 games here in the season. Top five, Dad's up one. Todd Hull Helton batting 381 at the Padres Park this season with three home runs in five games, including the opposite field grand slam into the second deck of the Western Metal Supply Company build that borders the pole in left field. Bottom eight, 4 2, two out. Scott Dolman pitching to Xavier Nady. He's the go ahead run. Rockies go on to win it 4 2. Dad's two games under 500, but still on top. Bob Euchre night at Miller Park celebrating his 50th year in baseball. Brewers invited the Braves to Uke's party. He started with the Milwaukee Braves. I would like to do this again on my 100th, 50 years from now. Wherever I am, dig me up, bring me back here, a couple of times around the warning track, and take me back to the hole where you pick me up. Oh, you'll be in the skybox, dude. John Smoltz, 8-1 and one in 13 starts following a Braves loss this season. Brewers won Friday, and Jeff Jenkins wins that battle, his 18th. Brewers up 2-0. Top six, though, Braves up a run. Andrew Jones, base hit off J.J. Hardy's glove. Proprio for call scores. Braves win 8-4. Smoltz, seven innings, three hits. Oh, yeah, roll those beautiful top plays. We got 10 of them. We start at number 10, Cardinals, Nationals, Jose Guillen, hard ground to the third, Abraham Nunez. Nice backhand pick, throw across the diamond, got him. To see it again, and yep, the replay confirms that was an excellent play and should be number 10 in the top place. We spotted it perfectly. <laughs> number nine, number nine, A's, Orioles, Melvin Moore, a fly ball to shallow left center. Mark Katze getting dirty. A's managed 15 hits, although Moore couldn't get one for the O's there in the 12-3 win. Number eight, it's the world's largest ice cream in Moscow, Russia. They're just putting together as long a train ice cream as they can, 787 feet. And, of course, you know why the Russians do that with the ice cream? Because they can. <laughs> Number seven, BMW International Open, third round, 16th hole, Simon Kahn, second shot on the green, and then it's like he's got it on Duncan Yo-Yo. Rolls it in for the Eagle, Luke Donald, your leader after three. What are we up to? I'm not even paying attention. Number six, A's Orioles got it right here. Dan Johnson, fly ball to left center. Luis Matos and center, Eric Burns in left. Look at each other and say, yep, you take it. Burns, excellent work, had it all the way. Never a problem. See, that avoids the collision right there. Yeah, they almost had hey, like you got it. ice cream freezes. Number five, Angels, Devil Ray. Number four, U.S. Amateur Championship. 17th hole, Dylan Doherty, chip for birdie. Rolling, oh, that's excellent. Love the wicker baskets there. Then you got 18. This one, he sticks a foot away. He's gonna win his match and advance to the final. You know what that means? He's going to the match. All right, number three, Colts, Broncos. Sir, go! Yes, sir! Marine Mike Anderson, 93 yards for the touchdown. One year to the day when he was lost for the season with a groin injury. All right, Nice, Florida, Hoover, Alabama. Tim Tebow, Nice, passes to Caleb Cooper. Nice move. 59 yards for the touchdown. Hoover, however, went on to win at 50 20. It's just good to have football back. Uh, Hoover's big in Alabama. Number one, Cardinals, Nationals. David Eckstein shows bunt to Mike Stanton and then goes yard. Nothing like a good piece of hickory, even if you're looking like you're going to lay it down. Eckstein 